Good morning. So today's experiment is CRC of acetylcholine on the isolated rectus abdominis muscle of frog. Now coming to the experiment. Now what is meant by the concentration response curve for the CRC? This concentration response curve also it is we can say it is a dose response curve or the DRC. So, either the concentration response curve or the dose response curve. Now, what does it mean? Whenever, for example, uh, here we are using the acetylcholine is a drug and tissue is the frog rectus abdominis muscle. Now, frog uh, rectus abdominis muscle, it is a voluntary skeletal muscle. Now, as it is a skeletal muscle, so generally, for example, it is it will be innervated by the cholinergic uh, receptors now here for example and m receptors are there in case if it is ganglion then it may be the an n receptor which is respond to uh, to the uh, acetylcholine and what type of response it will produce the contraction fine now if we are using the a small quantity of the acetylcholine it will produce a uh, a contraction it will produce a contraction now this contraction we are uh, finding through this type of the graph clear to this type of the graph if we are increasing the concentration again there will be the again increase into the concentration increase into the concentration means the graph height it will be increasing again if you increase the concentration again the graph height it will be increasing so concentration response curve means or the dose response curve means Whenever you are increasing the concentration, the response also it will increase. Clear? It will increase. But it will increase up to a particular duration. It is not like that it will continuous increase and increase or increase. But it will increase up to a particular du uh, particular concentration. Then it will uh, you can we can find that sub maximal response near to the sub maximal response, or you can say that uh, after. Uh, you can do that highest response the response it will be same or response it may be decreases so that is we are talking about the concentration response curve and this concentration response curve is very very essential to uh, you can say that to find the unknown concentration that means for the bioassay part to unknown concentration of the that particular drug for example if, if we are giving a standard acetylcholine and test uh, drug which is also uh, acetylcholine so you need to uh, you can say that perform the bioassay to find the unknown concentration uh, what is the concentration available into the unknown sample now in that case whenever we are going for the bioassay we need to perform the CRC first that is very important now Whenever we are to, uh, talking about the this experiment, of course, we are going to perform this experiment into the uh, software. So, there you, we do not require to maintain all the uh, thing because software is maintaining all the, uh, you can say that variables. But, but if you are actually performing this experiment in uh, lab, though, of course, the isolation of the animals is not allowed of course frog isolation it is not allowed uh, in research purpose also now what we can do is uh, already in the first experiment i have shown you the chymograph apparatus and all so here what is the important point so tissue tissue what tissue that is the frog rectus abdominis muscle so this tissue we are going to use frog rectus abdominis muscle what is the drug acetylcholine Physiological solution, we have seen that preparation of the physiological solution. So, physiological solution is the frog ringer, temperature, room temperature. Room temperature means it is nothing but here actually 25 degree centigrade. Clear? So, no need to, uh, you can say that put the water into the outer jacket and no need to heat it. So, for the frog rectus abdominis muscle. Of course, in case of the rat muscle, you may require the um, heating of the water present into the outer jacket to maintain the temperature. Next is tension load 1 gram. Speed of the drum. So, speed of the drum that is the 0.12 mm per second. So, that uh, speed we need to fix it. Bath volume. Bath volume means in the student organ bath. So, it is approximately it may vary. Uh, it may be the 20, 25 uh, ml but every case it should be same. 
if you are keeping for one response 25 so every time it should be 25 contact time means this response contact time means for example whenever you are injecting the drug and uh, drum in the rotating form <coughs> drum is rotating and you are injecting the drug so uh, tissue will produce the contraction and muscle uh, that is so, uh, your frontal liver it will go up so this contact time is 90 seconds clear this contact time is 90 seconds after that what you need to do after that you have to switch off the drum clear we need to switch off the drum after 90 seconds and type cycle means from here to another to starting of the another cycle because in between after 90 seconds <coughs> one to two minute or the three minute you take the wash period because every time you need to wash so that uh, earlier drug it will be washed off and you can give the new concentration of the drug so all those things we need to follow before we go to the experiment so next we are going to see about the how we are performing the experiments and how we are uh, you can say that getting the results.